Hey guys, my name is Siliac and welcome back to another episode of the Foolsopolis here in City Skylines where today we're doing it. We're causing more chaos, more flooding, more destruction. We're expanding the canal. We're creating a new kind of uh, import-export area with the beautiful cargo ships. So what could possibly go wrong? Hmm, guys, if you are enjoying this, please smash that like button down below. If you're under in here, make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when that next episode does come out. So we are back. Uh, last episode, we did some beautiful expansions. Beautiful expansions, guys. And uh, I asked you guys whether I should kind of add in a kind of shipping system to my oil industry. A lot of you guys want to see it, so that's what we're going to do today. We extended the waterworks, which looks um, pretty, pretty good. And uh, we're going to hopefully extend off this. And I think I'm going to bring them down into here as well. i got to do something with the kind of trains as well. So we can kind of get them in. I think about doing it kind of both sides. So we can kind of utilize it from many different directions. It's going to be interesting. So we'll see how it pretty much goes. Also, someone said, Jorciniak, you know this? I should hook it up to the other side because apparently they use one side for loading, one side for unloading. I don't know how true that is. But it's kind of intrigued me because I am yet to see any trains go into this. So I don't know how true that is. I don't know if I'm being trolled right now. But we'll give it a go. So if I brought it about there, I'm hoping I can use the connection tool right now to get this sweetly connected. Um, oh, it's cutting it close, isn't it? Well, it makes sense because that there is closer than this angle so we'll go with it and we'll just do a nice little six ish <laughs> there we go so if that works my mind is blown because i didn't know that was a thing i don't know if someone's just trolling me or if that's actually going to work but this anyway we need to get this rocking and rolling so when it comes to this canal system uh we're gonna get this beautiful side here and we need to if i remember correctly it's a 30 distance that we need to build uh, no, actually, was it? Because this side we did it different, right? It was a 20, 27. Right, we'll stick to a 30 to make it a lot more easier to understand. And then from here to the train, it's a 78. Yo, okay, we got plenty of room. We definitely have plenty of room, so we just got to figure out then the best way to do it. So from there to there is 70. Uh, half of 70 is 35. This is going to be so awkward now to figure out the distances so if that like i said there is a 78 so a 35 36 37 ish we'll use the 36 and that should be a 30 that's a 42 hold on is my math incomplete what was that that was a 36 so if i also do a 36 Oh, I'm so dumb. 35 plus 35 is 70. Right, don't talk to me. So that there is a 6. So about, if I come back by a 3. Right, that is my middle. Okay, right, leave me alone, okay? I'm going to say that's my middle. I know it's not going to be perfect. It should be 39 there. F okay, 39 there. Okay, maybe it is perfect. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. So from that point, if I go across by a 15... And just come down by five. Go across by a... Let me spin this round. A 15 and come down by five. That is the 30 gap. Now, I'm actually going to do a big rectangle of 30 going down. That's not what I'm going to do. I'm just going to get the kind of a rough outline all up and running. Now, I also know when I do this, this wall is not going to play ball <laughs> at all. So 20... And then go up by a 20. So that should be a 30. Yes, it is. Perfection, boys. Perfection right now. So what I want to do is I want to kind of create like a um, a wider mouth coming in. And every so often we'll kind of do a sticky out bit to where we want uh, all of this to go down. So what I'll do for now, I'm just going to quickly anarchy this through. To there and to there. Right, I'm so sorry, but it has to be like this. And I'm going to bring this down so far. So I bring it down by 30. So I know then that this, right, is the dead center section. And then we're going to, from this, extend in different ways. It feels like that's bigger than this side. Hold on. 
24. 24. No, it's the same. Interesting. So, on this side, because that'll be the main drag coming in, um, we're going to have a couple of different options. So, I think about here, right, we'll bring it down by 10. So, I'll use this side here. I'm going to run that down in this direction, I reckon, to about there. So we can extend that side coming in, so I can put a little shipping dock area just here. So that kind of bumps inwards. And then the same for this side there. I reckon I'm going to do about a 10 there and bring it down to about, let's say, about just there. So all I've got to do is delete this. I'll delete this one. And then connect that in. Connect that in. Same for here. So we've staggered it quite nice. So a ship comes in and you've got these little kind of little sections where they can kind of dip in and out of it. And if I bring this down to about there, and we'll widen this one. So they're kind of like the little inlet sections. I don't want it to be like a normal rectangle. I want it to have these little gaps and kind of sections. So we can like drop something in. The trains can run smoothly across it. No issues, mate. No issues. You don't need those tissues. So here then, obviously, I want to make this... I want to make it kind of like a, a mouth entry point in a weird way. So very similar to how we would have done like this there, that there, and obviously these two, where it kind of pinches it and expands out. So we're going to try and replicate something like that. So obviously what we'll do is bring it by 20, we'll go by a 10. No, do a 10 there. So get to here, we'll do a 10 and then another 10. Now, if I delete, because obviously we, we do need to kind of make it a little bit wider. I'm thinking, do I run it all the way down at that length? And I choose the sides to where we run it? Yes, I think that's what I'm going to do. Right, delete that back. Because I know where my spacing is now going to be. I reckon about... I reckon about there is where we'll do that one. Now I reckon we'll push this one down a little bit further. So Anarchy you. I'll just bring it to there. So now I'm going to pause. Because it's going to mean that I need to cause some destruction. So bringing you to there. So I know that is the point that we're working with. Actually I can go by another 10 can't I? Another 10. I'll come up by 20, in by 10, and then we're running up. So if I then do this by a 10, right, that's how we'll work that one. So I then want to try and replicate this. I don't know how well this is going to go. So that running down to here, 40 is where we then should take it out by 10, right? Yeah. So that should be a 20 to connect into there. So that creates my little mouth wide piece coming in. I feel like this section here should be moved along a little bit further. Right, yeah. I'm gonna do a little one just here as well to kind of mimic it. So 10, bam, bam. Going to move this to about here. Now we'll bring it to about there. 10. So we've got to keep it to the 10. I can't stick it any further because that should be perfectly our 30 marker where a ship can run through it. So that works. That's how we're going to kind of do it right now. How the rest of this is going to take place is completely... Is going to be completely different. Let's be honest. Oh, hold on. So just roughly kind of align this real quickly. So I can tell by the stagger there that some of this is going to be on the wrong side. So <laughs> this is going to be fun. This is going to be truly a lot of fun. So we will now drop all this down. So coming in. Beautifully, we'll go for a larger brush size. There we go. So, best as we can, cut it in. 
And I've got to raise that road as well. So let's roughly do this. We'll get all the smoothing sorted anyway. There we go. Push it all up. Well, I might be going too far on some of it, but it's okay. It will work out in the end. It will work out in the end. So bring this brush size down. We now do the tops. So we'll go as much as we can on some of the edging. Because then I've got to redo a lot of the kind of walls now to make sure that they're on the correct side. Which it is annoying. But this is what happens when you kind of do it the way I'm doing it. Because normally you would terraform first maybe. But I like to kind of do the outlines of the key walls. Because it's a lot easier to kind of then get your angles, get your lengths, get your 90 degree turns. Make it as uniform as you can possibly be can get it done. So I'm going to run down to here. It doesn't take too long anyway. It's a shame as well, you can't flip it. Well, at least I don't know you can flip it. You know like how you can like upgrade a road to kind of like flip the opposite way around? You can't align these to be flipped around the opposite way either. Right, we're well, smoothing all this, even though I've got to angle it. So, la di da di da get all this painstaking work done. Right. There we go. Getting cutting right in. All the way down. And then we finally end it to here. Amazing. <laughs> so, I've just got to now delete. The bits that don't work. Which in my case is the majority of it. So bringing that all the way down. That should cut it in. I feel like that was going to be okay from the get go. Hmm. Right. Delete you and you and you. And that little section there. Delete that section here. Delete all of that. Uh, delete all of this. I feel like i got to delete that bit too. And delete you. Delete that corner bit. I might as well delete up to there. Going all the way down. I think that's all I need to delete. We'll find out. So bam, bam. Well, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Shabam. That should be it. That should be about a 60, right? 40. Yes. Right, good stuff. And oh, and this bit here. Right, amazing. Now, just to double check that some of it is all aligned correctly. There we go. So that is the bare minimum done. I can now, apart from this road, obviously, which I'm going to quickly raise it. So it is the road of the trees. Even though once I raise it, it's going to take away the trees. There we go. I'll worry about making it high in just a moment. Ooh, I might have to then stagger that. I mean, I don't know if that's going to need a roundabout at some point. I do not know. But, um, right, now I can trim the edges of all of this. It's a tedious task, but you've got to do it if you want it to look good. You've got to do it if you want it to look good. So, I kind of want it to look good, <laughs> even though I can be lazy in getting some of this stuff done. Right, there we go, all the way down. All right, we ain't got to do it perfect, as long as we can't see the major bumps from the once the water's all filled in. Once it's all filled in, you shouldn't be able to see it. There we go. There we go. So, it's quite a unique little design, isn't it? It's quite beautifully staggered. So, <laughs> this is where the flooding now happens. I'll put it into play mode anyway. Pull it into play, let the water... I mean, what I could do, to be honest with you, is reset the sea level. But we know how much kind of... I mean, no, it doesn't cause much problems. That's what I remember right now, isn't it? So reset the sea level. Stop the uh, the old water. 
whaling in. And I know there's a little bit of movement, so we'll do it again. You see with the bumps and waves. That might be the only issue that we have. So we'll do this. I don't know whether I need to add a water source in at the very end or whether the water will kind of like slowly drain. I don't know. But we shall see. We'll see what happens. So I'll come back to this in just a minute. What I'm now going to implement is some cargo places. Things. <laughs> uh, I could do one at the very end. Or I could do one just here. I feel like I'm going to do one just there. Because that will be for these guys that are connected to this road. And then we're going to do one here. Can I connect to route? Oh yeah, we, know. we need to add in the shipping lane, don't I? So, shipping lane. Which shouldn't be an issue. Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? Straight up. So, we'll add in one here then. I could add in multiple, but I think we'll just keep it to one. Because um, I've also got to implement some of the road in too. So, we'll add in one just there. Oh, wait. I've, I've put that one there. It was meant to go on this side. My bad. On the inlet section. So, what I'm going to eventually do is probably utilize this one being connected to this line. This one with the road coming down and connected to there. Maybe utilizing something over on this side. I mean, I could add one in over here too. I'll add in multiple. Whether I use them or not is a completely different story. But we'll try and get them somewhat connected. Yeah. Now, can I make these? I, I, I attempt it on this one. Why can't I select it? There we go. Can I align you to object height of that? Yeah. Okay, I can. So, select you and you. Just sink them down so they're kind of level. Um, right, great stuff. So, we can't reach it just yet. But that's not a problem. That's not a problem. Uh, we're now going to raise the road. So, I'll pick... I'll pick that node there and that node and this one, which will be the main ones where the ship would kind of go under it. So about there. Now, I don't know how dramatic this is going to be. It's probably going to look very, very dramatic on this one side. So there to there. Does it look dramatic? Kind of does. This one won't look too bad because it's a, it's a lot longer for the um, the elevation to change. But that does look so. I mean, I, we'll eventually sort something out here. I might kind of move it down a bit and have that road bend and this road bend in to kind of compensate for this bridge. But for now, this is how it shall change. This is what it should remain to. Right? How do I select? There we go, and delete. So at least the ships won't be hitting the bridge when they come in hot and heavy anyway. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm hoping. That's kind of what I'm hoping. So we've got to do multiple things right now. We've got to do a road, right? And we've also got to bring a train line in as well, which is actually quite difficult to do. I'm not going to lie to you. It's actually quite difficult to do in these circumstances. So with the actual kind of road... What I could do is I could connect these up like this or I could have a bypassing road, right? And then we just kind of connect off to it. So I could turn it into like a national road and have a road that kind of pulls off to get to your, you know, the one that you want to get to. Um, I could do the same thing coming down here and just kind of create like a big loop and then hook the trains over it. I'll see how that plays out. It might not be a good idea. I could also do it as a one-way road as well. Would that work? I mean, it would probably have to be a one-way road. It's an interesting concept. I don't know if it will work out well. But it would then mean that they come in from one angle and leave from one angle. So, where would they enter from? Because if they're coming from that direction, I need something here that they need to enter from. Uh, 
Hmm. I don't know if that would be a, a good idea. Because I can definitely have like a connection coming out there, leads up and in. But where are they coming from? Because then you got to realize. But then again, would I want them all to be driving? Because I can just set up a road up and it wouldn't be a problem. But it's more for the trains. Because the, the cargo ships will come in, transport to train, then deliver. Or vice versa. Train in, cargo ship out. So I don't think I need to worry too much about the road. I don't think I need to worry too much about the road. But it would be ideal to have like a nice setup. Wouldn't it? It would be. This now this is a difficult, difficult challenge. So what I'll do here then, we'll for this side at least anyway, I'll bring it down by a forty and connect in. See by a forty and then connect in. That's kind of even on both sides. I don't know how that plays out. If that's even a good idea or not, I feel like it's not. I feel like it's not, but I'll leave it for now. I can see us doing some underground stuff to get over to access this area. I need to get this area set up to utilize this a little bit more. So we'll focus on these two at least. We'll at least focus on these two. So I really want these two to complement our oil industry. That's ultimately what I want them to do. So what's stopping me from at this point here using this two lane road to then get to a certain point, which will bring it a bit further down to compensate for that turning in. To get to about here by the 12 marker, raise it up by 10, then do like a 15, can I do a 15 by 15 bend? 16 by 16 bend as it creatures and approaches up, to then bring it back in as if they entered it from down here somewhere on the loop. Creates this fast, paste loop which we can utilize not only vehicles coming over here but we can also utilize the trains coming over here as well it's just where would i implement it in i mean i could hook it up to this road here and it connects back in that's probably the most logical thing to do but even though it's not the same road either side it shouldn't be a problem but how would a connection look on that Right, if I bring this down as much as I can, there, I mean, is, is that how it's going to be? I'll add it in and see. I mean, it's not it's not terrible, but it's not good. Um, I'll utilize the the four lane miniature road coming in because I feel like that could be quite a busy system. I don't know how I feel about this, to be honest with you. Honestly, I do not know how I feel about this. Right, if I upgraded that. If I... Oh, damn. You <laughs> pause. If I smooth in this a bit more. How do I feel? Hmm. It's an interesting one. But the, the next question is, where do you come from this side? But I think before I can do this, I first must set up the train line and give them the ability to come into this area. So I think I'm going to do it in different ways. I think I'll connect this one to this train line here. So this will be kind of used more of a cargo ship comes in, gets it on the train line, skedaddles out. Whereas this one's going to be connected to the industrial line. Thus a lot more complex to get from point A to point B. So you can use the different kind of um, cargo harbors in multiple different ways. So if I bring this out to here, keeping it going pretty straight, I got to get it connected into here somehow. Now, my next issue is, right, they're all, th these two lanes in the middle are for show. This is the one that they use. So if that's that use, it goes this way. Now, if I turn that into a V, but then even still, I could bring that up like that down and in oh see that works right okay i'm gonna have to pause for a minute because it means i'm gonna have to kind of redo all this little jibber jabber so bringing this let's say to about here 70 so i can do a 10 by 10 and we'll go up by five which i'll go by another 10 
Then I'll do a 10 by 10 and go... No, keep to 5. 10 by 10. And then as I'm coming down here by... 10, I'll come up to 10. So now we should be at the perfect height to kind of elevate over. I'll angle that nicely. So if that's the case, right, um, how far away is this? It's a 17. So that is a, say one more is a 27. So if I come down by a 10, if I come down by a 10, I should then be able to do with my 21 by 21 bend. It's all connected there. That, that keeps us all connected. Now, even though we're not going to utilize this stuff here, this train line, what's the better way to do it? If I brought that right down to here, have it connected like that, just for the funsies to kind of see how it looks. That should work. The only problem is, is this station can't go that way. So then, what I'll then do, so that there is a 10, that's an 11. So if I come out by a 10, I mean, it makes no difference. It makes no difference, does it, at this point? So if I do that, to kind of pump it back in onto that line, we're all good. That there is a 26. That's enough length there for a train. Oh, this gets so complicated, doesn't it? This does get kind of complicated. So bringing this, again, elevated over. So right down to here is a 29. So if I'm on a 19, I should be able to do a 10. See, I want to do a 10 by 10 bend, but I want it on a 90 degree angle. Now, what would happen if I just kind of connected these guys up? What kind of connection would they agree to? I mean, that's pretty standard, really, isn't it? Pretty standard and bending in, but it's not perfect, man. It's not perfect. So if I kept this going, 54. So a 54 is there. So if I take it to a 44. Right. And then here is a 17. So I take it to a 7. That should be a 10 by 10, right? Jeez. Why was that so complicated? But it works. I mean, it's going to bottleneck. They're more pointing in this direction, but it works. It's long enough that it doesn't back up too much. It's got a long line to go through there to back up, but it works. That's the difference, okay? That is the difference. I'll sort all the beautifying out in just a moment anyway, but this side's going to be a little bit different. So this side, right, we'll bring it across. So like I said, that's mainly for the inner side as an end point. This one here connects to the greater good. <laughs> this is the best way to put it. So, my options are do a V here. But to do a V, you've been needing some... I mean, it's not a problem doing a V because I can kind of bend it up and in. But I also need to make sure it's not too close to this. So, a 21 is there. Right. So, I need it about... So let's just say I go off this. 21. 21. That's perfect. So having it by 21 means a full length of a train can wait. And it won't kind of mess up the over spills and whatnot. That's kind of connected there, which is all good. So I'm going to bring this up by 10. And I should be able to get a 21 just there. So... That's connected both sides. That's connected. So as long as we've got this all up and running, then it, they should not be any issues. So what if I did a... No, I'm going to do a 20 by 20. We'll do a 10 by 10. 
And then we'll do a little bit of a, a connection right now to wiggle this in. We'll go as big as we can allow ourselves, which will be here, to wiggle and bend it through. And then that should still work at this point. It's a bit mental, granted, but it should work. So with that said, with that said, I could turn this road here into my... If I brought this out by 20, for example, into my comes over bends and connects to here road. So I pump that back to about there. I know I've got to flip it around. I'll do it now. And so it's a way to get to both of these via vehicle. You can get to it via train, but both of these do two different jobs with the way that they're connected to the train line. So like I said, this is more for if you wanted to go into the city, if you wanted to go down over to here or whatever we do around here. This one's more for in the oil industry, but it allows us to both have two shipping connections and a third one for whatever we build over here too. So we kind of utilize in both sides, both spaces. So we'll see how long it lasts. Um, right, okay. So if I came out by another 10, and then should I do like a 20 by 20? 20 by 20, and we'll start to bring it up to 10. Which seems quite dramatic. But I'll bring this down. And then what's the alignment? It's a 16. Can I get that? Nah, it's gonna be quite difficult to get that mark. So I'll just I'll just throw it in as a 17. And then connect it straight down. So we're going to have to do, play around now with a lot of the sloping angles. So if I bring it like that to there. Bring you up to there. And that's in. So we'll play around with this then. So we'll also do the train line at the same time too. So from here to there. Oh, that sinks down. Oh. Okay. Right, we'll mess around with that in just a minute. From there to there. So that's a nice little gradual. So from here to here. And then from here to there. Oh, <laughs> that sinks down as well. We gotta get those angles, boys. We gotta get those angles though, don't we? Right, from here then, I think we'll do to there that's a bit better I wonder if I can get from there to there should flatten it and do we have any issues over here with this all oh, this is raised by the way isn't it I mean it's not an issue but okay okay so let me just play around with this terrain in then so as soon as that's so dug in I'm kind of going to have to make this go to there, like that. Maybe smoothing it up a little bit. Same for the train line. I'm going to have to to this point make it dig in like this. Okay, so road connected round. I know it's quite a large looped road, but my main point is I would like them to mainly train the goods over. You can get the odd vehicle or two that does drive it, but the main point of it is to kind of train the goods over. So we'll use the untouch it tool right now to untouch both of these. Turn them into a one-way road system. And obviously both going in that direction. And then we will kind of bring them out by... Yeah, we do it by a 10. Do that by a 10. Obviously flip that one round. So by a 10. By a 10. And it just becomes a little turn off. Continued. I mean, I don't say there being a vast amount of traffic. But the option's there for them anyway. 
So I'll put it into play mode then. We might actually start seeing a lot of um, stuff going on down here just because that is currently still flooded. So that'll be interesting. We will get rid of some of the trees just here too. Well, they can go right up to the edge anyway. It's not a problem, but just take them away a little bit there. Kind of bring a little bit in just here. And then bring it right around to there. I mean, to be honest with you, it can actually go right up against it, can't it? Yeah. It's the V that I don't want it on. Even though I've done it on these Vs. I need to paint them. But yeah. Some trees going around. This is when we can slowly start to beautify this place as well. Okay, going down here, going back up. You know what I mean? Slowly beautify. I'll run this up the side. There's already a vehicle on the way. Do the trees, do they suck up the water? <laughs> that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? So you can see what we you can see what we're trying to accomplish with the trees really, can't you? You can start to see now, this side here, I'm truly not going to do anything with it until we are building on the other side of the road for it. Just because I feel like that there will have like an under system and then pop up in the central area. So it will make this more central to the middle with whatever we do. So it's not attached to this road, but we will see people using it for now, which is not a problem. Not a problem. So... Yeah, this will be interesting right now. Now, I know a lot of them um, are going to drive straight to here. They'd rather go to this because, you know, quicker distance. Why, why drop it onto a train to get into a ship when you can just go from straight from vehicle to ship? But you, we still have people using it. want to get some goods here, there, and everywhere. So it's just kind of trying to complement the systems that we already have in place. So I haven't had the game pl in play mode for long enough to see any changes with this but at the same time we are currently uh flooding some of the train tracks so i gotta still gotta give it a bit of time unfortunately still gotta give it a bit of time so the systems right now won't really work too well until all this flooding has disappeared it's a shame we don't have like a sponge tool where you can place it down and sponge up the water but we will start to see these all using it. And we might start to see this be a little bit more busy. But we can play around with uh, all this stuff. Or oh, what we should do as well is upgrade this road. Just to that style. So we can pump double the amount of traffic through it. And uh, yeah. We're just now pretty much waiting for our first ship to arrive. I think this has really opened up this area. I actually kind of like it. I actually really like it. Interesting. Very interesting. And eventually what I want to do as well, like in little areas where I know I'm not going to have anything to do with oil. Slowly start to get rid of it. So I, I get back the green... The greenness... Of the terrain. You know, like in these little areas... I know I'm not going to have any oil production buildings here. So try and get back some of my green. So the area looks a little bit nicer. And then I can paint down more trees and stuff. Area's going to look so good. So what I'll do then. Pull it in for play for a bit. Wait for the water to kind of disappear. We'll come back and see how they have taken advantage of it. Look at this. We've also got We are now first. starting to see the trains coming in left, right, and centre. So these brand new areas. Where I, I did see a train here a minute ago. Uh, but cargo ships coming in. They're even using this side too, which is kind of handy. I mean, I don't know who for. Who are you? 
oh, for the... That's weird. So they're coming from over here. <laughs> from the animal passage and stuff like that to go over here. Interesting. I don't really know what's going on right there, right now. But there's a brand new train coming in. And you can see him utilizing this kind of highway style road. Which just shows you that we're going to have to do like little bits and bobs to kind of make the traffic flow a little bit easier for these guys. But it ain't the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. Things are rocking and rolling. It's only recently have we just got rid of the water in this little bit of a basin right now, which doesn't need to actually sink down as much as it originally did anymore, which is, again, very interesting to see. Because we've raised up the, um, what do you call it, the road so much, we don't need to drop this as much. And I think we can also get away with the majority of this. So hold on. Actually, let me go from here to there. Boom. Nice. Bring that brush size back down. Smoother this puppy. There we go. There we go. Glorious. Glorious. <laughs> so yeah, it's really interesting to see it now all coming together. How much this will help the industry, I do not know because they still say that there's not enough uh, buyers for the products. Uh, these guys also say there's not enough raw materials, so who do you believe at this point? <laughs> who do you truly believe at this point? I can store more of the goods, but it doesn't really work out. That's why we kind of need um, the unique factories that start requiring a lot of these goods to kind of store here, there, and everywhere. But we'll eventually get onto that. That stuff will eventually kind of happen right now. We've got the plastic stored, we've got the petroleum stored, the petroleum, we've got loads of it, boys. We just got to get those puppies exported out of here. But it's still going pretty well. No complaints as of yet. But this whole inlet is running so smooth. No major issues yet to report. Uh, another news. We're up to 372,000 residents right now. This is looking pretty good. Haven't done any additional zoning. They're just slowly coming in, which is really good to see. So that's going to be a huge difference, a huge change. I can then operate on this side, which is going to be really exciting. Um, we do need to get some unique factories in at some point, which will be really good. And, oh, have we seen a train come in here yet? Do I have a cargo train on the way? I don't know whether now that cargo, the airport, cargo airport has now become second best. Now I've got all this in. <laughs> it probably has, to be honest with you. It probably has. Which is even more hilarious. But it's not the end of the world. We'll eventually get there. We will we'll eventually get there. So how well is this area doing? I mean, the amount of barrels that we're producing, the amount of output that we've got on the go right now, it's only a matter of time before we make it a killing. So does that change much? Is it now the most profitable industry, uh, oil? No. Farming is still up there. But um, I'm, I'm telling you, this, this will have aided the oil industry a little bit more to kind of uh, export a little bit more. But again, as time goes on, we will see truly what happens but the most important thing is we've not seen any train jams that's the most important thing right now no train jams so things are looking good so that should go to the left yep so i think they're now truly favoring the cargo ships over the cargo planes yeah where are you going cargo train terminal Oh, all the way over here. Interesting. Okay, they're going some distances, boys. They're truly going some distances right now. So, things are looking up then. Things are now looking up for us. We've got this nice big kind of central dock area added in. We could do a lot with this section too. It's not limited to just cargo transport. I could eventually add in some ferry systems to bring some peeps over here. Again, we still yet to incorporate ferries. Uh, as a mode of transport so that will be something that we can look to in the future i think next episode we're going to start placing down a couple of unique factories because now we're only really missing the woodland industry and the fishing industry fishing industry doesn't really matter when it comes to the unique factories the wood industry does so we start slowly start to get some of them in right now uh I, I think we've still got a lot of unemployment which is pretty high look at the amount of people employed versus jobs so we are gonna have to start adding in a lot of jobs we'll start with the unique factories get people to be utilizing those and i feel like we do need to bring some public transport over here too with everything that is going down so it's getting exciting boys it is getting quite exciting we're already maxed we almost maxed out the jobs over here 91 total thousand profit 
57,000. For the first time ever, the oil industry is now earning more than the farm industry. That's got to be down to the new line of export abilities that they now have. Holy moly. Well, on that note, we're going to end it here. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good. <laughs>